All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, we are under a tornado watch here for a lot of uh, central Montana here. Uh, no warnings uh, just yet. Of course, a watch means, hey, watch out. Conditions are likely uh, to produce supercell thunderstorms that may yield a tornado. Uh, but in this, tor in this tornado watched area, notice the yellow boxes. There are two separate severe thunderstorms right now. Uh, some light rain around the capital and Great Falls, but notice in the last few hours here right in central Montana where we had a little more sunshine, a little more instability. Boom, we've got some thunderstorms firing. You can see the lightning increasing here in the last few hours, but uh, there it is a new severe thunderstorm warning here uh, for this cell. Of course, this area got hit really, really hard, just blasted yesterday. This storm likely moving just to the south of Denton. Denton seeing rain. Denton could see some hail, but the core of this storm will stay just to the south and is moving off towards the northeast. This cell again north of Hobson, west of Lewistown. This will likely miss Lewistown as it is heading again off towards the northeast, heading over to around uh, the South Moccasin Mountains here. However, north of Lewistown, the Jute Mountains getting uh, hit pretty hard by some storms. And then uh, look at this, a separate second uh, severe thunderstorm warning. And that's the same exact area that got hit by the tornado yesterday. So two severe thunderstorms here, large hail, wind up to maybe 60, 70 miles per hour with the storms. Again, this one will kind of miss uh, Denton going off towards just the east side of town there crossing Highway 81. And, but uh, that cell that is pushing over the eastern edge of the Little Belt Mountains missing Judith Gap, but it's moving also off towards the northeast. So if you're watching from Lewistown right now, watch out for that storm. Boy, Winifred got slammed. Uh, Hayes, Zortman around uh, the Lodgepole area by storms yesterday. We've got thunderstorms here, and it's this area, including Lewistown, down around Judith Gap, where there could be an isolated tornado going through this evening. Around the capital, more stability. We've had some cloud cover today. Uh, that has kept the instability down. We've got a couple of raindrops uh, right there. Also for Great Falls, out of the severe threat. However, out there around Flathead Lake, we've got a couple of storms firing. We had some storms off the Rocky Mountain front uh, earlier this afternoon. So here's what will happen. It's in central Montana where the activity really ramps up over the next few hours. Uh, the possibility of supercell thunderstorms. We already got them yielding tornadoes though as this uh, line of storms or cluster of storms moves off towards the northeast. The tornado watch goes until midnight tonight. The thunderstorms may continue after midnight tonight, but uh, still looking at so the possibility of severe thunderstorms producing uh, tornadoes. And if you don't see a tornado, large hail damaging wind. Also a possibility once again up here, north central, northeast Montana. Uh, heading into Saturday it may start out with a little cloud cover in a few locations, but how about this by two o'clock? Mostly sunny skies and isolated storms. Central Montana once again. Well, those folks out there have been dealing with it uh, here recently. So uh, it's central Montana with a chance for a couple of thunderstorms here, but most of the state will be mostly sunny and dry here. Heading into Sunday, a couple of thunderstorms will fire here in the southern half of the state, closer to Interstate 90, Bozeman, Livingston, Butte, maybe uh, close to Townsend and uh, Three Forks. We could have a storm as well. So here's the forecast for tomorrow after the severe weather here tonight. Uh, we'll likely have a mostly sunny day. Temperatures in the 70s. An isolated storm down there around to Lewistown. Here's a forecast for Sunday. A few more thunderstorms in the southern half of the state. The High Line, Great Falls uh, should generally be dry here on Sunday. Heading into Monday, more green on the map. A few more thunderstorms, including the High Line and including Great Falls. Temperatures getting a little warmer. And then Tuesday, a lot of people getting ready for the big holiday weekend here, maybe even as early as Tuesday. And look at the thunderstorm activity picking up. Storms likely to be widespread across the state on Wednesday, July 3rd. And of course, on the 4th, on Thursday, we've got thunderstorms here uh, potentially throughout a lot of the state and in Great Falls. In the clear tonight, in the clear really this weekend should be a lovely last weekend of June. But July starts off right where most of June. Left yeah. Off. yeah. All right. Thanks so much, Kurt.